Now, we'll call this the girl's heart. And in the interest of keeping everything at least PG-13, we will refer to this as the place of happiness. <laughs> lady come up to me recently and she goes, man, I can't even go to Walmart anymore. Smiley faces all over the place. She's like, ah, 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 no. <laughs> Now, at some fundamental level, this is every man's basic interest in a woman. It's true, it's true. Now women say, well, that's terrible. That's there shouldn't be about that. It should be about companionship and fellowship and sharing. Girls, if your husband was interested in companionship, fellowship and sharing, he'd have gotten a golden retriever. <laughs> He's interested in this, and he's supposed to be. That's the way God wired men. But what men fail to understand is the key to this is this. And if a man successfully touches this, she gives him the green light, and now he can touch this. <laughs> So this sex drive, guys, is God's way of constantly reminding a man, and it keeps coming back, it like never stops, you know, just <laughs> uh, On average, a man will feel the need for sexual release on about every 72 hours, that's every three days. Uh, some more, some less. My husband's every 72 minutes. But, uh, <laughs> that's your problem, but anyway. Uh, But seriously, the reason that keeps coming back is to motivate the man, be nice to the girl. It's not so you can just go, hey, you like? <laughs> Are you hearing me? A lot of guys do that. As soon as they feel the buzz, they're just reaching for the girl. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Don't be a moron. <laughs> She won't want to come here. The reason that buzz hits you again, remember, oh, be nice to the girl. 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 I gotta be nice to the girl. And, and, and this is what motivates me. I, I, I try to be nice to my wife. And, and I'll, I spend time with her. And I take her to lunch every day. And I'll take her shopping. And Well, Pastor Mark, do you like going shopping? No, I hate it. You know, she drops me off at the bench with all the old guys. And I sleep with them. You know, She comes, picks me up, drops me off at another bench. <laughs> you say, well, if you don't like it, then why do you do it? I'll tell you why. Because I want some of this. <laughs> I'm no idiot. You got to be nice to the girl. You got to pay attention to the girl. And, and really, single women, I don't know, you know how many single women are watching this, but inevitably, there's, there's single women here, and that's great, and, and a lot will be watching this. But, you know, th th when a woman gives a man this before marriage, she is a nitwit of astronomical proportions. <laughs> that's a, you, you would never build a house and pay the contractor in advance. Are you hearing me? Getting, if you're going to build a $250,000 house, and, and which here in Phoenix will get you a, a, a one bedroom with nothing. Uh, <laughs> man, I got a huge condo on a lake in Wisconsin for $250,000, man. I'm telling you, here you got nothing. But anyway, you, 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 you wouldn't 
pay the guy in advance and give him, here, here's the 250 grand. Do you know why? The house will never get done on time. He'll never do what he's promised to do. Why? Because it's just the nature of human beings. You pay them as they hit certain marks, certain things they accomplished, you finish it, you finish give them some more, some more, and then you wait till everything's right, and then you close. Why? Because that's the way people are wired. If you were just to give it to them, you would be a nitwit, a moron. That's what women are doing today. They're coughing this up front, which is every man's basic fundamental interest in a woman. You've already given him everything he wants. And then he sit around saying, well, aren't you going to marry me? Aren't you going to spend more time with me? Aren't you going to lay in? Aren't you going to lay in? <laughs> no, he's not. Go, Pass. Why, why won't? Because you're an idiot. That's why I don't do that. <laughs> Give him that thing. You make that bar. Earn it. If there ain't no ring, you ain't getting the thing, is what you need to tell him. <laughs> that was seriously, girl, I don't know why. There's something that really happened in the female culture. I, th I think it's because of the women's lib thing, and they think, well, now we can go out and we can be as sexual as men and stuff like that. But they are fighting against their own interests. There are millions of women in America today that are so frustrated they can never get this. They can never get this. You know why? Because they're dumb. I'm serious. I don't mean it in a mean way, but they're doing a dumb thing by like just coughing this up to every guy that comes along, thinking this. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. Now, every woman's basic interest in a man is this. What a lot of women fail to recognize is the key to this is this. <laughs> And if you touch that, he gives you the green light and you can touch this. <laughs> so I thought you said women weren't supposed to do that. Outside of marriage, inside of marriage, you got to work it this way. Outside of marriage, you defeat yourself. But inside of marriage, you have to realize this is a very important deal. <laughs> it is. It's huge. <laughs> A lot of women treat this like it shouldn't, like a side issue. It shouldn't. It is not a side issue in marriage. It is the central issue. It truly is. And I'm going to really explain this in greater detail tomorrow. You get this right, things will flow a lot better in your life. You try and discard this. Oh, it shouldn't be about that. He shouldn't be interested in sex. Just a pig. <laughs> you are fighting now against your own interests doing it that way. You've got to be smart about this, girls. The key to this boy's heart, you know, they used to say when I was growing up that the key, the, the key to a man's heart was his stomach, uh, but they were about six inches too high. <laughs> and, and this is important. I, I got to tell you girls, if it weren't for this, we probably really wouldn't deal with y'all. <laughs> 